Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertis here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a simple hit marker effect when you shoot your enemies. So this hit marker effect is just something that's going to give the player a little bit more feedback letting them know they have hit the enemy. So this hit marker is essentially just a couple of lines coming out from the center of the screen and it's essentially going to go around the crosshair. It's really simple and really easy to set up so let's go ahead and dive into it. Now one thing I do want to mention once again you need to download the latest version of the FPS HUD assets from my website as within there I have gone into my HUD export folder and I have created this hit marker image. So with this what you want to do is open up your engine, go to your HUD export folder and then just click, drag and drop and just import it in here. Now once we've done this what we need to do is create a blueprint widget which is going to contain the graphical information for this hit marker. Now I want this to be able to come up over and over and over again so I don't want to put this into the main heads up display. So what I'm going to do with this little widget of mine, I'm going to give it the name hit marker and that is literally it. And then with this open up your hit marker widget and then just add in an image. With this image center it into the center and then just set your position for X and Y to zero just like that so it's centered. Now bear in mind it's probably going to be a little bit off so what you're going to have to do is type in hit marker to assign your hit marker image into this and then just scale this to the size that you want it to so 32 by 32 and then just try and manually place it just like that. And for me, that looks like it's roughly in the center. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to quickly create a animation to make it fade in and fade out. So it's just gonna be really quick, really simple. Because it's a fade in and out, set your default opacity to zero in your color and opacity for the alpha, add an animation, fade, and then with this, add your image underscore 73 or whatever it's called and just quickly add a color and opacity track so zero seconds it's going to be you know zero opacity half a second uh, maybe not half a second maybe 0 0.25 seconds it's going to go to one and then at half a second it's going to fade out again it's only going to be a quick little animation you don't want it to be on the screen for too long so literally just that little flash there and it looks good so go back to our graph and then within here event construct we're going to tell it to play animation and then for the animation just set it to your fade so just hook it up just like that and we are good to go and then what we're also going to do is run a quick delay of maybe one second to let it play the animation and then just remove it from parent so it's no longer on the screen or you know it's just not going to be causing any issues. So now that we've done this let's show you how to get this to pop up on the screen when you get that successful hit on the enemy. Open up your simple AI, give it a couple of seconds to load and then if we look inside of here for on actor begin overlap with the projectile what you want to do is just get rid of this print string for hit or if you don't have it just simply delete it and then just drag out and type in create widget and then we're just going to put it between this set health stuff so I'm going to move this along a little bit and then return value add to viewport and just hook it up just like that so it's in between all the rest of the code and we're not damaging anything we've done already for the class just set this to hit marker hit compile Let's press play now and if we shoot the enemy, you can see whenever we get that successful hit, our hit marker comes up on the screen and the player knows they have definitely hit the enemy. So let's try this again, wait for him to start moving, shoot him and you can see we've got the hit marker on the screen and we are all good. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for today's episode. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.